my first time making a juice with my new juicer. Turmeric root. Actually, I'm going to put something else in there first. Dandelion greens. Whoa. I don't even need to push it down. I'm not used to that. My other juicer, I actually had to push it down in there. It's just, this is like a chipper, it just draws it just draws it in. Wow. Wow, this thing is crazy. There's like no pulp coming out. Hits the gears. That's weird. My other juicer had it so that the plunger would stop before it would hit the gear. I'm going to throw some beet roots in there. Oh, it looks like I need to plunge it in. It's stuck in there. Hmm, that's not working good. Beets are a problem. What? Uh, I don't understand what's going on with that. not handling beets very well compared to my other one. Let's see how it does a uh, turmeric root. That went alright. It's not, not bad. Let's try ginger root. Not too bad. Now cucumber, my last juicer left a lot of wet pulp from the cucumber. What's going on? There's a piece of ginger in there still. Yeah, the pulp is a lot drier with the cucumber. This is a habanero pepper, which is actually a very hot pepper. I'm throwing that in there. That chewed that up really quick. More cucumber slices. And we have a lot of lemon. A lot of lemon peels. stuck in there. Alright, now we 
have a bunch of cilantro. That's going on. One thing I noticed about this so far is that it's handling leafy greens very, very well. Better than my last juicer. This juicer is 100% stainless steel, and it's actually the only juicer on the market that's 100% stainless steel. There's some kale. More dandelion greens, more kale. Lastly, we have a carrot. ever juice made with my new juicer. This juicer is supposed to be the, the best juicer on the market. It's supposed to extract more juice out of stuff. Yep, that is definitely drier than my other one. So I'm getting more money out of my fruit and vegetables instead of wasting it. Definitely uh, drier pulp. I'm going to turn it on. When you turn it off, there's a fan inside that cools down the motor. And the juice collection tray is actually made out of glass, unlike my previous one, which was plastic. habanero really makes it hot but yeah I use it because of the health benefits normally what I'll do is is I'll pour this into a jar and then stir it I'll shake the jar to like mix the foam like this I'll just pour it in here Empty. 
and then I'll take my jar, and then I do this. I'll spin it, and it blends it all together. It's a lot better consistency when you do that. It's actually kind of reddish, and that's because the beets are extremely bright red. My initial impression on this is that I'm impressed by how much juice I got out of my fruit and veggies compared to my last juicer. So that alone makes it worth it. So I'm getting more money out of my fruit and vegetables because all this stuff here I have to just throw away. This is just all insoluble fiber that I just have to toss. But that's a lot less insoluble fiber than I would have got with my previous juicer. And it's way drier. This is extremely dry compared to my last juicer which was very, very moist and fluffy. Um, the, I guess the drawback from what I experienced is that some of the items I put in there were harder to have the juicer grind up. Like the lemons kind of got stuck. Whereas with my previous juicer, the lemons would go right through it. I wouldn't even have to do anything. Would just with, with my Omega juicer, it, I didn't have to push it in there like that. Same thing with the, um, uh, with the, what else? Oh, the beets. The beets were a problem. With my previous juicer, uh, I put my beets in there and it grind it right up. I didn't have to really do much pushing. But with this, I had to push down hard to get them into the gears. Um, overall though, it's still worth it though to save money on getting more juice out of your veggies and, and stuff. It's just worth it. This is also a higher tier model of this particular juicer because this is the, um, the 8500 model which is the 316 stainless steel whereas the other models are just the 304 stainless steel. So this has a higher corrosion resistance very high corrosion resistance. So actually, this is the only juicer in the market that actually has stainless steel twin gears. So, I, I'm very happy. I mean, it's not perfect, but it this should last, hopefully, my lifetime, I hope. And I won't have to replace it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to using this pretty much on a daily basis.